Imagination is everything. When you can create a world that is exactly how you want it, whatever you want, no rules. Life's not always easy. Being able to get out of reality and be creative, it can lift your spirits and it can make you happy. But you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to drop your walls and be willing to try things. That is where you're going to grow the most. Just try. There's so many games that we built and so many more that we want to create. So this is going to be the opening cinematic sequence for Project Drop. The tools that are coming are incredible. I want to hear <laughs> I mean, VFX sparks, like dust flying, camera shaking. I know we're working in UEFN. The whole thing is brand new. Snow, Ritual and I, we've grown so much, but this is the beginning. We're all gonna keep creating together and learning together, having fun. That's what Alliance Studios is all about. <laughs> Ritual comes from a DJ background. He's having a little party for us tonight. We've been working really hard in UEFN. Being able to let loose at the end of the day is so important. Ritual and I met in 2019. I had never expected that my best friend would be somebody from Australia. Mac Jack was the person that I immediately connected with. We worked together fluidly, and that's where it became a very comfortable process of discovering who she was. I grew up in Indianapolis. I've always been a hometown kind of girl and never thought I would leave. I was a gamer. I played Battle Royale since season one, and I loaded into Fortnite Creative the second I could. My map slides and doors decided to just blow up, but I had to learn and I had to grow and I had to keep getting better. So I decided to join a team called HQ Builders, which is how I ended up meeting Ritual. Mac Jack was one of the leaders of HQ. She was part of the decision process of getting me on. We complemented each other, working really well hand in hand. Hello. Hey, what's up? Let's focus on doing a mini game right now. Let's do it. It was a lot of just conversations and hanging out as friends. Still hollering out? <laughs> yes. We created a space that was safe, and it went from friends to very much family. He was one of the first people that I'd ever opened up to. Yeah. Just telling my whole story. That sounds like a good idea. I've always struggled with being overweight and didn't have a lot of confidence, so that was a struggle. She doesn't see the worth that she has but I see greatness. In 2019, I was invited by Epic to go to Epic's North Carolina headquarters to help design one of the welcome hubs. It was really hard because I was very uncomfortable in my own skin and I almost didn't go because I didn't want people to see me. <laughs> She didn't want to leave the house. And this was a fork in the road. You've got to have someone behind you that believes in you. He just pushed me. And it's just like, you can do it. Having that reassurance is what I needed. Somebody to, to recognize, like, I can do this. So I went. I built a purple gemstone hub. It was 
all about Kevin the Cube. I felt like my life was about to change. I came home on a mission. Ritual and I had a conversation and we decided to make our own team. We started working with content creators and brands. Quickly, Ritual and I were very overwhelmed and we were like, okay, we need help. I met Mac Jack and Ritual. I was going through high school at the time. Snow is a genius. He is incredibly gifted in Fortnite. He very quickly showed us what he could do and just excel from that point on. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And this was like, this is what I want to do. This is Alliance. And then six months later. <laughs> We started building experiences together. We released the games, and we're just seeing the numbers go, you know, all around the world. Millions of people playing these experiences. We're pioneering the space, which is just mind-blowing. I had no idea that we would create games that millions of people are playing. Millions. What? around the same time, January 2020. I made the decision to you know, work on myself, so I decided to have weight loss surgery. After the surgery, I returned home and I was unable to keep anything down, any fluids, any, anything to eat. I was throwing up like 30 times a day. When I had every test under the sun, they were trying to figure out why my body was not letting me have any nutrition. And then I fell in the shower and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> and, um, and then slowly I just couldn't feel anything below my waist. I went to the hospital. I was paralyzed and my nervous system was completely shutting down. She was getting told by the doctors that, that they were doing the best they can to, to find what was wrong. It was the scariest thing. I thought we were a loser. I didn't think she would have made it. It was days away from her not being here anymore. I had developed a very rare deficiency for vitamins. My organs would have shut down within a week or to two weeks if I had not come into the hospital and got the vitamins that I needed. It was really, really traumatic. I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to walk again. That was a scary, very scary moment for all of us. Fortnite allowed us to connect with her. That's where we, that's where we were, it was in Fortnite. That's how we knew she was okay. We're working, we're having fun and and I can be distracted. I don't have to realize, hey, you know, you're in a hospital bed right now. I can completely zone out. I was in the hospital for three weeks. Eventually my legs woke up and then I went to physical rehab to learn to walk again. That was a kind of a wake up call. I wanted to live life and not be stuck in Indiana. Now I want to travel, visit my friends, and not be afraid to be seen. The second I made eye contact, it was just like, I can't believe she's here. Like she's well, she's walking, and still carrying the whole team on her back. It was incredible. It was great. It was. Uh... Two very good friends meeting for the first time. Yeah, it's a happy moment. We ended up creating all these amazing games and experiences, coming up with great ideas, growing our team and getting better. Our ideas list is never ending. There's so much we want to do. What I've learned, you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. There's 
a lot of unknowns that come with it. But sometimes those choices will lead to greater things. Good morning, citizens of the Alliance. We've got a new game. Hit the light. We're gonna jump into UEFN. We're gonna do a play test. You'll be spawning in this main lobby area. Fortnite, it's evolving. We're immersing players in things that I haven't seen before. Good, yep. exciting. Ready to go? Let's go, let's do it. It's completely customized. The atmosphere, the colors, the post-processing. We have cinematic sequences, our own sound effects. This is the beginning of UEFN. Now, we're game developers. We have big goals. And our team of creators, we're continually learning, letting our imaginations go wild. We're making Fortnite our own.